July reminder, don't eat the dirty data. So, Paul, is this similar to don't eat the yellow snow during the winter? <laughs> kind of like that. I, I bet your dad told you when you were little, don't eat dirt. Yes, he did, but I just I, I ignored that. I mean, look at the way it turned out, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to remind people, uh, uh, Watson uh, X, IBM's Watson X is going to be uh, coming out for uh, general availability sometime this month. And I just want to remind people about uh, uh, Watson X governance. It's really important to get good data that goes into your model. Uh, you could end up like that uh, attorney that uh, built his case with uh, chat GPT, and it was all fiction stuff. But you need, you need good data to um, uh, uh, avoid model drift and uh, all kinds of weird things that can happen to your data. And uh, uh, IBM is building a, a governance toolkit that uh, will uh, enable uh, trusted AI workflows and uh, it'll include mechanisms to uh, protect customer privacy and it will detect model drift and help regulate some of the new regulations that are coming up. So anyway, I just want to throw that out. So when, you, when, uh, when you're looking to, so many people are building different uh, generative AI applications for almost everything you can think about. So when you're building models, make sure that uh, you know what kind of data you're using. Typically, uh, the, the foundation models that have been built are, you know, one third of the internet, and there's all kinds of junk out there. So uh, IBM Watson X governance makes sure that uh, you've got you've got good, honest data going into it. So it'll save you a lot of trouble downstream. Yeah, it's interesting. Kind of what's new uh, was old, or what's old is new. I always mess that up. But as long as IT has been around, the quality of the data impacts the corresponding uh, yeah. result. And whether we're doing you know, analytics, whether it's machine learning, whether it's deep learning, whether it's generative AI, uh, your data has to be clean, but your data also has to be secure, yeah. right? And particularly in those areas that, um, that, that IBM's uh, clients are in. I mean, you could pay staggering penalties in many of these uh, areas, many of these regions, many of these uh, industries, if there is a, a challenge with uh, the data. I mean, heck, I, I'm finding it fascinating. And I had called this six months ago when this generative AI craze took off, but there are no free lunches. And, and now we realize that these big generative AI, AI models were programmed um, using other people's proprietary data yeah. or trademark. You, you just you can't steal data, right? And we, we actually saw this at the beginning of, of search uh, back in the end of like uh, the end of the 90s, uh, mid 90s that, hey, if you don't give us a, a piece of the pie, um, we're not going to let you uh, access and we're going to block robots.txt, which was uh, Google's uh, uh, scraper. Anyways, interesting stuff. Any any thoughts, guys? Uh, no, not for me. But it's it's funny you say that though about the, the kind of the cleanliness, and uh, it's a cute little lead in there, Paul. But um, but it is true. I mean, I think about every job I've had, and you know, the decisions that get made that get made. Yeah. You know, uh, bad data leads to bad intelligence, which leads to bad decisions, right? Um, it's uh, you're right. It's as old as uh, old as IT. It's as old as business, really. Yeah, you know, my only thought there is that you know, with respect to applying AI to, to networking, you know, AI ops path that you mentioned earlier, you know, when when I'm asked, you know, by customers or journalists, you know, you know, who's credible, I typically respond with, well, it depends on the largest data lake because you need you need a large amount of data to train these models effectively. And certainly companies like, you know, Cisco and Aruba have very large data lakes. But, you know, you often don't think about, the, you know, the, the cleanliness and the hygiene of the data that goes into that. It's garbage in, garbage out, right? So uh, it's a great point that Paul makes. 